if anybody has been following our uh, stories and what we've been doing here at the Globe Plastic Surgery, we did a different case today, a different type of case. So both cases were uh, liposuction um, and awake liposuction. But um, something people have been asking are, what is the difference between 360 liposuction and regular liposuction, which we did uh, a couple weeks ago. So um, the term 360 doesn't change the technique. What it really refers to are just the areas. So the most common areas uh, patients get liposuction are the anterior abdomen, which we separated to lower, meaning the area of the belly below the belly button, and then the upper abdomen, which is the area between the rib cage and the belly, and the belly button. So that's upper abdomen, lower abdomen, and then the flanks, so the kind of the side of the abdomen is, um, is what we essentially do if we're just doing non-360 liposuction, so to speak. Um, when we start to talk about 360, that's when we actually add a couple areas in the back region. And so often the patient during that portion of the procedure, they will turn over um, we have a nice operating room table which allows a patient to be lying on their face, kind of like if you've ever gotten a massage and um, you, the patient's very comfortable lying down. And then we complete the second part of the liposuction procedure for 360 by addressing the posterior aspect of the flanks or the love handle region, people like to call it, um, and the center of the back. So um, the areas kind of right above where the back ends and the buttocks start. So that is what we term 360 liposuction and that's probably one of the most common things we do here at the Globe.